Hey yo, it's your boy Zero. How many more doing today? As for me, well, a bit curious because it's been a year since I made a video on DJ Trev and Project Melody. Uh, if you may or may not know, uh, there was some trouble because uh, Digi gave a DMCA strike to Melody and it caused a whole bunch of trouble. And he presented his side of the story. Melody, you know, showed her side. Uh, but it seemed like it wasn't a good argument for him. Uh, and uh, I, you know, there's some more things we can talk about here today. But what is more important today is I actually was in contact with someone who worked on the team. Uh, they reached out to me and were surprised that someone even covered this at all. I thought I was just, you know, one of those people who just one of the many people who talked about it. So I guess I'm a rare case. I'm surprised about that. Now, uh, I did, of course, question the validity of their claim of, oh, yeah, I worked on the project uh, as you know, should be skeptical of that sort of thing. Uh, but they were quite prompt to uh, prove their uh, involvement with the project. And I appreciate that quite a bit. Uh, for this purpose of the video, uh, I've, they've asked me to keep themselves anonymous and uh, you'll find out a little bit more reason why. So I'll just call them Trevor for the time being. And I hope that no one else on the team is called Trevor just just for that sake. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, they were able to send me a portfolio and I can very much assure you their you know, the credentials are legitimate and they are skilled in their trade uh, that they were able to work on that team. Now, uh, this is going to be a talking head video. Uh, there's not going to be much for uh, you guys to really see, unfortunately, because I would share uh, some things Trevor showed me, but uh, they're more private stuff, so I'm sorry. However, there's one thing I can at least have a consolation prize. You can stare at my mascot for the whole video. <laughs> How about that, huh? So, in uh, Digi's Twit Longer, he showed that his programs weren't being played properly, and like before, I do agree with that completely. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, experience in programming, and R&D is a large part of programming. A majority of the work that you do as a programmer is before you even write any code at all. So it's very true that there was being sniffed on payment, and it's very unfortunate, almost a crime, I'd say. Uh, even further proof, Trevor showed me one of the screenshots that uh, Digi shared uh, in less redacted form in showing that, yeah, I spoke to Digi about being sniffed on payment, and I find that awful. So I felt kind of bad since, you know, that, that was kind of the summary of things. Uh, and I thought, okay, I want to pry more. So I said, hey, can I get a little bit more info on this at all that you can provide for me? They were quite courteous, so thank you, Trevor, uh, for being so courteous and also showing your portfolio. That was very generous of you doing that and being so accommodating. So the summary of what Trevor has told me, uh, Digi felt scammed by Melody and her manager. Uh, they reiterated that Digi was hesitant to work with them because it seemed like they had no experience, uh, but did learn to trust them, as we saw. Now, there's something I do want to remind you guys of, um, and I've said this in previous videos, but I'm not going to reveal, of course, more information than this. Uh, Melody does have previous experience in her other work as an online entertainer of sorts, and I'll leave it as, I'll leave it as that. Uh, now, they do acknowledge that it was a mistake in uh, Digi's part not to create any legally binding documents to have people paid properly, uh, and this has, you know, we've, he has been very apologetic to the team for, you know, having done that or not done things properly. And I am also the same as well. Uh, because of the instability that came from uh, giving a DMCA strike, he actually asked the team to keep their heads down uh, to protect them, which I respect a lot. However, that did mean that he was the one that caught a lot of flack. Uh, and this is why Trevor has been really quiet these last few years about anything of this project. Now, Trevor did attempt to speak to uh, Melody's manager, uh, but no longer can. They don't know why. All they, they, they may have suspected they've been blocked or maybe they changed their online handle in Discord or whatever sort of thing like that. Uh, and their last exchange was a follow-up because, you know, they're working on a continuous project, just checking up on things saying, hey, you know, did you finish this? Or, you know, how's progress on this thing? Uh, and there's been no response. Because of the mistreatment of his team, Digi actually asked them to stop work. Now, I do think it's a bit of a dick move, but it was a good way of sending a message. Some of this info is, you know, just confirmation of what Digi has said on his tweet longer. But there's also some of the behind the scenes stuff that I hadn't heard before. You know, just like saying he uh, what, agrees with what I have said about him defending himself or not being able to create legal documents or shouldn't have been making legal documents. Uh, so uh, I'm happy that Trevor reached out to me for this info. Uh, and uh, now there's, this is kind of showing a trend that I don't enjoy and I'm sure you've seen. 
where there are people who just easily step over people for success for success so knowing this i'd be very cautious with dealing with project melody especially after this and v shoujo and nux uh, i'd be very cautious in working or talking to melody and v shoujo I wish the very best for Digi and his former team members uh, on behind Project Melody. Uh, during my exchange with Trevor, uh, I felt a little bit self-conscious because I thought I'd painted uh, Digi and his team in a bad light, but uh, thank you. Trevor reassured me I wasn't. I did a decent job in covering that. And I do not want to antagonize Digi or the former team. I never have. And uh, Trevor, definitely under Trevor definitely helped me understand the situation more. Uh, I want more info, uh, but there's really not much that can go out there. Uh, but if you're a, maybe a former team member and would like to speak out in the comments or reach out, uh, you can DM me at Zero's Void on Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to actually show it this time. Uh, everyone else, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below about this information. How do you feel about it? Uh, I know that it's, there's not a lot of solid proof I can show you guys. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, hearsay right now, but uh, I can be, be very confident in uh, what Trevor is showing me. So uh, I want to hold people accountable for, you know, what they have done. And, you know, that's all I'm really out here to do. I just want the truth. I'm not out here to call out people. I'm just presenting the info that I know and, uh, you know, let people judge from there. Uh, and uh, I think this should be shared around as well, of course, because I'm selfish and it's my video. But I also think info is important, right? Uh, and I appreciate if you do. Uh, leave a like of the channel because I do have actually a bit more info uh, from Kathy Cakes. I was able to reach out to her. Uh, and get more info on her and uh, I have a bit more thoughts on uh, You know, she has a defense and I will speak to her uh, about that So I'll see you guys in the next one if you want to sub and have a great day Boop.